Ontario's Special Investigations Unit is trying to determine what led to a shooting involving police officers at a busy Toronto subway station. It happened last night. Frightened passengers ran from the station as officers fired several shots. Christina Stevens has the story. An 18-year-old man shot during an altercation with police was wheeled to the ambulance. A scene of relative calm compared to the chaos minutes before inside the Queen Street subway station when a man allegedly wielded a gun and threatened passengers. People were running out because I was right beside them and this lady come running at me saying, help me, help me, I'm so terrified, all I hear is these bang. And they're saying that the police officer was telling the person with the gun, can you please drop the gun, put it down, put it down. And all of a sudden it just was gunshot fired. I heard 14, apparently there were 15 shots. Uh, that's what someone else said. It's terrifying, for sure. I'm pretty shook. The Special Investigations Unit won't confirm the number of shots fired, but say several officers were involved. We have four subject officers that were designated last night and five witness officers. We've interviewed three of them already, and uh, we've also interviewed over a dozen civilian witnesses. Violence on Toronto's transit system, which moves about 1.7 million riders a day, is rare but not unheard of. Just this summer, 18-year-old Sami Yatim was shot by police after brandishing a knife on a streetcar. One security expert points out there's no way to prevent people from getting weapons onto mass transit. What's important is deterrence through both public awareness campaigns and more uniformed officers on site. Around and Chris Maneri says a solid emergency plan is critical. It's all about the response and how they get people out of the, the system, out of the transit vehicles and how they secure it. He says the confined space makes it very difficult. It is a tough space. If a bullet was to be shot, it could ricochet. There's tons of people down there that would be exiting. A little bit of chaos. This incident happened in a subway station linked to the Eaton Centre, the scene of last year's mass shooting, which left two men who police say were targeted dead and a half dozen innocent people injured. The man injured last night remained in hospital in stable condition. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.